Today is a very interesting time in cities because all of those technologies that changed our lives in the past 20 or 30 years are entering the space of the city. The internet is becoming Internet of Things and is changing the way we can understand, design and live in cities. Just remember four numbers about cities. 255, 75, and 80. Cities are only 2% of the surface of the planet, they are 55% of the population, 75% of energy consumption, 80% of CO2 emissions. So if we can do something to make our cities a bit more sustainable, that can be a big deal globally. But another way to say it is that we cannot go ahead with business as usual. That is simply not sustainable for the planet. I like to think that the important thing is not really a smart city, is how to have smart citizens. So how to empower people to do what they need to do in a better, in a more seamless and more sustainable way. What is happening in the smart city, or I would say sensible city space, today is a lot of experimentation. And different cities are experimenting with different dimensions. We see Singapore, for instance, experimenting and leading the world in terms of innovative mobility. We see cities such as Copenhagen or Helsinki experimenting a lot with sustainability. We see Boston, you know, playing the card of citizen participation. Milan, looking at how nature can get closer to the, the urban fabric. So it's really like more like kaleidoscope. And I would say maybe tomorrow's ideal city is not just one city, it's kind of a combination, like the sum of all these experiments happening globally. If you look at innovation, you know, you got two types of innovation. You got incremental innovation, but sometimes you got big disruptions. And, uh, and I think we are at that moment today in cities. And this big disruption is coming a lot because of digitization, because of data, because of artificial intelligence. So I think we are up for another quantum leap in terms of how we think about urbanization. There's many changes happening in cities today. You know, they deal with mobility, with electrification, with the energy systems, you know, with waste, with, 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 with a lot of that. But if you want to condense all of that into just one key thing, I believe what we need to do is to find a better alliance between the natural and the artificial world. And, and that is probably the big challenge that's facing all of us in research, in design, in innovation, in order to rethink the city, not as something separate from nature, but something which is part of it. There's many revolutions happening in mobility all at the same time. You know, people talk about EVs, uh, electric vehicles, AVs, autonomous vehicles. But to me, the most important revolution is probably that related to data. Thanks to data, we can get a car when we need it. Thanks to data, we can get this kind of on-demand mobility, which is changing the form factor of vehicles. If you look at cities, there's a very permanent dimension. Look at the city 2,000 years ago. The same components, horizontal floors for moving, facades to protect us from the environment, windows to look outside, you know, those elements were there 2,000 years ago and will also be there in the city of tomorrow.